What is up guys, Spike Treasury Fan here, and welcome back. Today we're doing another Benny and Link Machine review. If you've seen yesterday's video, we did uh, a figure, mint four pack mini figure uh, collector set review. And today, uh, in that other video yesterday, we had per said we were going to be reviewing the action figures of Benny and Link Machine. So, there was four to collect in the set, and uh, we're going to start off with... Um, uh, with um, um, one of the characters. So here we have, uh, we're going to start off with Boris because he's very interesting um, to talk about. So we're just going to talk about him. So this is the bottom of the box, as you can see. It says Boris the Wolf action figure. And we got a little gear here that says by Fat Mojo, uh, Melee Games, 14 and up. And this is also Series 1. The bag, a lot of random stuff as you can see. You can get the first chapter uh, one game downloaded for free if you go to this website. You can try out chapter one for yourself. Um, and the rest of the box, as you can see, we get it shows who you get in Bendy, Boris the Wolf. Bendy and Alice Angel. There's four to collect, and the top of it shows the ink machine. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's let's take a look one more time at this box so you can get. A oh, sorry. Sorry about the shakiness. So this is what you get. Boris comes with some keys and some tool a toolbox. There's one last good look, and there's the top of the box that says Benny the Ink Machine. With a good old bendy space right there. So I'm gonna set this back down and open this for you guys. So yeah, the back of the box, if you take out Boris, is just a wall that's boarded up. These are all the same, so I won't really show them all, but yeah, here we go. We got some keys, so these are what the keys look like, if you're just curious. They are wiggable, so very awesome. I think those are Wally Frank's keys for his know. And we got Boris the Wolf's uh, toolbox that he showed us in Chapter 3. So yeah, Chapter 2 item and Chapter 3 item. Very really awesome. Now we're going to get to the main figure himself. As soon as we get him out of the box. Slide this back in. We don't lose that. And here is Boris the Wolf himself. He's very tall. Uh, so tall that I probably have to bring him back a little. Yeah. He's still very tall. Um, but here's a close-up of his shoes. Um, he, his feet can rotate. Hands are rotatable. You can bend his arm both of his arms and is also rotatable. The head does not move at all. Would have been cool but it doesn't really move very well and the legs are bendable like this and can go up this. Same way with this. Very nice. I think Boris might be the tallest out of the bunch, but I'm not really 100% sure. But here's one close-up of Boris the Wolf out of his package. Very, very nice. Alright, so that is Boris the Wolf. We're going to pause the video and get the next one open. And yeah. So next one we're going to be reviewing will be... Um... The next figure we're reviewing is Bendy. 
so stay tuned for that. One before we do this, there's a close up one more time of Bendy and his box. This is Bendy, same thing as the forest did. The back is all about the same, so nothing really changing there. So just like I said, you can download chapter one right there with the website. And yeah, um, yeah, so let's get this guy open. I'm gonna pause it so we can get him open. All right, so here's Bendy. He's very short and perfect for my camera. Um, pull him back so you can see his whole head there. Um, so Bo Bendy comes with the little ink well. If you can see that, it's actually got, I don't know, it's hard to see, but it actually does have the little skull and crossbone uh, carved into the thing, which is really, really awesome. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very awesome. And then we get our very own mini Bendy plush from the game as well, which is really, really awesome. It's super tiny and cute at the same time. So these are the items. And the bendy plush doesn't really stand up very well. So I guess you have to lean it against something. Where's the toolbox? We're just going to lean his thing up against there if it stays. If not, oh well. Anyway, let's get on to bendy. I noticed when I got bendy, um, he does have a rotatable head. So... His head is fully articulated, which is very nice. You get his arms. I noticed his arms were very loose when I got mine. Um, so, yeah, they do pose out like that. That's probably the reason why I thought they were loose. So they can go up, down. Uh, his gloves are not really rotatable at all, which is kind of weird. I would have thought that, but they're kind of very hard to rotate, to be honest. Um feet go up and down so you can make him look like he's setting very nice and yeah very cool looking bendy i love his figure he's got that shape of his glove looks just like uh in the game on the cutouts so i love that and he's very nice looking uh compare size to boris he's still short um and like I said, we're going to put Boris and Bendy right there. And we're going to keep the items right around here so you guys see how much we've earned so far. Uh, next, the next bit part, we're going to be unleashing uh, Alice Angel. So I'm going to show you real quick a video. I mean, close up. Uh, the box. Bendy and the machine seal. Uh, she comes with a tape recorder and a microphone. And... Yeah, and it says Alice Angel there. Uh, the, like I said, the back's still the same. Nothing really new there. As you can see there. Yeah. Still can download it if you guys wanted to try it out. Um, like I said, it's a really amazing game, and they're going to be remastering it very soon. So if you want to play the original, you better play it right, right away before they update it. One last time, they said the original. Anyway, we're going to pause the video, open it up, so you guys can see it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've had, I'm having some issues getting Alice Angel to stand up, so we're going to have to use Ink Bendy's box so you can see her standing up, because I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I pulled her out of the box. It was a little... She had a little fight getting out of the box, but I got her out of the box, and now she doesn't want to stand on her own for some reason. Uh, so yeah, here is Alice, as you can see. Her face looks really creepy because it's based off of Chapter 3 Alice. Uh, if you turn it this way, she's got a really nice face, but then if you turn it this way, eh. So yeah. Um, the back of her looks like this. She's got a bow tie in the back. And there's her shoes. Her shoes are rotatable, so you can rotate her shoes. My glove has a has a hole in it. For some reason, this one doesn't. The plushie version shows that she has two of these circle marks on both of her inside of her gloves. There's nothing on the outside of either of these, and she comes um, with two items. Like I said, she comes with the 
microphone that is having some issues standing for myself because I feel like she needs it to hold. Uh, and her hands are rotatable as well. Uh, let's see if I can put this microphone in her hand or not. Maybe that might help her actually stand. Her feet aren't, aren't posing. Uh, her feet do bend, as you can see. And so do her arms as well. Her head does not rotate at all, neither does her waist, which is kind of sick. This is really nice. I'm going to put that on this real quick and try to get her to stand up real quick next to Bendy and Boris so you can kind of see in the back here. If I can get her to hold a microphone, that would even be better. Maybe that might actually help. Her a little. Maybe stand better. Oh, so I'm not going to stand. Oh, there she goes. So I got her to stand. Uh, next to Bendy, she's still taller than Bendy. And like I said, there's all three of them so far. The whole gang. Alice, Bendy, and Boris. Uh, and like I said, Alice also comes with um, this tape recorder from the game. I'm not sure why a lot of these items are black, are mostly white. Uh, Bendy's items was mostly black, and um, Boris's items, which was the toolbox and keys, were white as well. I'm not sure why they made them all white and not tan or anything like that. I guess because these are each all figures in black and white so they wanted to make the accessories either black and white as well so yeah we're gonna move those out of the way we got one more figure to do the main character himself ink bendy and he is very very detailed as you can see on his face very, i love the thing and he comes with the wrench and the gear so that's really awesome like i said the back is still the same oh alice just got knocked over and try to put her back. Uh, sorry. And uh, like I said, the back is still the same. But yeah. One, you can still download it. Like I said, all this is still the same. It's all free to download. So yeah. For chapter one at least. You have to pay $5.99 for them. So I'll be going to pause this video, unbox Ink Bendy, so you guys can see him. I'll be right back. All right, so we got Ink Bendy out of his box. He is very, very nice looking as well. Ink Bendy comes with the rent, uh, the wrench, and he also comes with the gear from the game. So that means technically we have four items from the items from Chapter One that we have to collect to to fix the ink machine. We're just missing the vinyl and the illusion of living. Uh, that would be cool if they made in series two those items to complete the collection of the six items. Maybe we'll see a series two with maybe Sammy Lawrence. Maybe uh, we, I would love to see the Butcher Gang as well in this. And he is very kind of strange at the bottom, but he he is articulated. You can move his arm. His gloves are even rotatable head moves very slightly so yes his head is rotatable it does rotate here's his other glove both of the gloves look normal um he's got his bow tie which is a little interesting um the back of him very inky you can see the ink dripping off his, his head uh and all the way through his feet um and his legs do go out do can split some far. This one looked like it split further than this one. But that's really interesting as well. Um, compare size. I think he's still shorter than Boris, which is interesting. And still shorter than Alice, I think. That is kind of interesting. I didn't notice that. Because, and i seen a person that did a compared shot of every single character in the game and Ink Bendy was actually taller than all of them 
Uh, but for some reason in this figure, he's still short, which is kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, there's all the items that we've gotten from all four sets, uh, two each on everything, um, except Alice has to use her microphone to hold herself. Um, but yeah, that is everything from check from the Bindi figure of the accessories, and I believe they can also hold these items as well, which is really nice. And like I said, they look really pretty and detailed, and I love them. And back there are the new Bindi mini figures that you can add as well. And like I said, I really like these guys really much. And if I had a chance to buy these again, I would definitely buy these for a set just to keep back in the box as well um, because I think it would be awesome to have a, an extra set of these just mint in the box so I might try to do that next time when I have a little extra money after bills and stuff we may do that for a collection update but I will do a Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, collection update so you can see all my plushes action figures and more uh, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this room um, make sure to have a wonderful ink tax all day. Can't wait for chapter four. Hype all the way. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and these figures. And if you, like I said, uh, one last thing, these were around twelve ninety seven each for each figure. So you're looking around close to maybe 60 or bucks for taxes or more, depending on what you get, but... If you get these four figures and these, they're about 70 bucks together for both, all those. But yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys love. Have a wonderful day. And I really think these are amazing. And I want to thank the Meatly for making these awesome figures uh, to actually come real. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in another video. Uh, if you want a shout out, please tell me. And maybe in my next videos, because we have another video coming up very soon maybe next week or so um have a great day and we'll see you guys in another video bye bye